Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at how to create a filterable portfolio in Genesis. Let's just have a look at the demo and uh, take a look at what this solution results in. So you can see we're using a full width template. We've got eight single posts. Uh, we've got the title for each post and the featured image. You can also put some um, some hover text in there if you like as well. We're using four separate categories. So this is what this result uh, achieves. Now to do this, we're going to use a plugin. So let's just log into the back end. Have a look at the plugins. And the plugin I'm using is Divi Builder. And when you install Divi Builder, you get a couple of options down here. I haven't configured anything in the options down here. It'll also include a projects custom post type. So let's have a look at this. And this projects, projects custom post type enables you to add single projects to the projects custom post type. So here's eight that I've added. And if we look at these, they're very simple. I've only added um, a title. I've chosen a category and I've added a featured image. So I've just created eight of them. So that's all you need to do. And then to create the filterable portfolio, click on Add New. Uh, use the Divi Builder. We'll select, we can use the Genesis layout settings. We'll select for width. Close that. Now let's just publish this. And what we need to do is we need to add a new row for width. Don't really need that actually. Let's select the modules. And you can see all the different modules that you can easily insert. Um, let's find the filterable portfolio and here it is here. So we'll add that. Full width, no, we'll use grid. Change the post number to eight. Select all the four categories. You can add as many categories as you like and we'll leave all these other settings as, as the default. We don't need to make any changes to them. But, but if you want to add custom CSS or the advanced design settings, you can do all that as well. So let's just keep this really simple. So we just click on that, click update, and let's check it out. And there we have it. It's as simple as that. So you can customize all of this. You can customize the size of the images. You can add some hover text here, um, as many categories as you like. You can change the styling for all this as well. So, uh, and you can use this on, uh, content sidebar as well if you want to use the default layout so so it's as, as simple as that using the Divi builder plugin with the Genesis sample child theme by Studio Press and uh, if it works on this theme I'm pretty sure it'll work on any of the HTML5 um, Studio Press child theme so uh, there's more information on a recent post I've published filter portfolio in Genesis uh, see you next time Thanks for watching. Cheers.